A new blood test could someday help doctors detect Alzheimer's disease years before symptoms yeah. start to show up. The hope is that early detection and treatment might slow the progression of memory loss. Dr. Frank McGeorge here now with more on uh, when this might be ready to use. And for a lot of families, it can't possibly come soon enough. That's absolutely right, Kim and Devin. You know, these results, most recently published in the journal JAMA Neurology, they aren't the first looking at a blood test that either identifies a person at risk to develop Alzheimer's or actually make the diagnosis. But it is one of the more promising advances toward making testing and diagnosis more accessible. Jack Driscoll began to notice memory problems and soon learned he has Alzheimer's. They gave me some tests and said, well, you, you're going to have it. Based on the test, Driscoll was able to prepare his family for what they could expect. I talked to my wife and I talked to my kids and let them know that maybe down the road, I wasn't going to be the same as I was then. Testing for Alzheimer's may soon become much easier. A new study shows a simple blood test called Allspath could identify Alzheimer's in people before symptoms even start to show. The typical indicator of Alzheimer's in the brain is the buildup of proteins called beta amyloid and tau. Until now, the way doctors looked for these proteins was to use brain scans or spinal taps. But not everyone can get those tests. A new study shows this blood test compares well for accuracy with brain scans and spinal taps. Individuals who develop Alzheimer's disease, they develop the pathological changes in the brain up to 20 years before they may show symptoms. So with this test, we can actually see those pathological changes in the blood. Uh, so yes, you may be able to capture this well before they develop the symptoms themselves. While there still is no cure for Alzheimer's, when a person is still at the earliest phase, it's called a mild cognitive impairment phase, we now have several FDA-approved drugs that have been shown to have some disease-modifying or disease-slowing effects. Which makes early detection with this blood test even more critical. Now, while this work is very encouraging, right now this blood test is only for use in research and it's not yet FDA approved. The test actually still needs further evaluation in a much broader population, but clearly mm -hmm. this is another huge step forward. Well, yeah. I haven't been near enough of those, right, in this particular exactly disease. Exactly right. Yeah. All right, Frank. Thanks.